Hey girlfriends, this is Slap Out Lash Girl Melissa and welcome back to my channel. We are going to play around with makeup today and I had done some things I've never used or techniques before so I'm going to show you how to get this gorgeous look. I think you will love it. It's kind of unconventional and you're going to go, she's doing what? <laughs> so if you want to know how to get this look, just keep watching girlfriend. Alrighty, I want to get you on this and I want you to learn how to do it. I swear it's really pretty. I was really scared of doing it, but in the end it turned out really nice. And so these are the products we're going to use. I am going to use a little bit of this because I need to have a nice little barrier between my skin and the concealer, of course. And the star of the show, <laughs> no, this is not the star of the show. This is that do effect. I love it love it love it i do it morning and night and that's what you see that little bit of shine there you do have to leave it on 10 minutes before you do anything anything uh with your makeup that way it's settled in and it's ready to go and then that's when i'll come and put the spray and mist on it this right here and then i can go in and do my concealer or whatever it is i'm going to do to my face today we're going to do something totally different we are going to use concealer but we're going to use blush too i i did it the other night and it i was scared but it really worked out i was shocked i really was i was very shocked and i love the way it looked it was so 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 pretty so are you ready let's do it before we get started I'm going to go ahead and spray this. I usually just use my little ring finger, spray it on it, shake it off, and just kind of dab your two fingers together. You don't want a whole lot of this. It dries very quickly and just barely, barely touch it like that. And you're just going to let it sit. It's got to dry. And you can feel it. It's a very nice cooling feeling, but it will, will help um, things not to settle. It has for me, and I live in humidity of Alabama, so it has worked wonders. It really has. I love it. But this is what we're going to use. I'm going to use three different products. And if you're wondering what's on my eyes today, it's the BK Beauty palette. It's this palette right here. I know. I love it. That's why it looks like that, because I use it a lot. <laughs> but it's got some really pretty colors in it. And I will link this. I'm not sure if this, I'm sure it can be tagged. But, however, I do have a code. I do have a code for this. And I can put it both. I can put it down in the description box, too. But it's so pretty. That's what I have on today. I just kind of mixed a few colors together. And I love the pinks in it. And I love the shimmers because they're not, like, too bright. They're just very neutral kind of shimmers. And let's see. Here we go. I think that's probably it good enough yeah it is now these are three products that I'm going to use okay I'm going to use Maxine's French face revenge I love this color and I'll put the color down here what I'm using and this comes in a lot of different shades too I really do like this product and we're going to use I'm, I'm going to use just because I have a little bit of you know darkness there I'm going to use a little bit of this this is just a L'Oreal color corrector and we're going to use Anastasia blush. Yeah, under our eyes. Isn't that crazy? It works. I don't know how it works, but it does. So, I've got my three products. We've already sprayed. I'm going to give that a second to settle because I don't want to jump right in on it. I, I've already let the other, the dew effect, sit for 10 minutes. Then I've added that. And, I don't know. Give it, you know, about three or four minutes, something like that, five minutes, and then come back and touch it and see how it feels. And it needs just a tad more. So I don't want to jump right in and mess it up. So I'll be back in one second. Let's do this, girlfriends. I'm going to use this little concealer. I will put everything. You'll know exactly what I'm using. This I don't want this to take too long. So what I like to do is put a little bit of this right there where that bag is. Um, because it's just so discolorated. It just is. This, this is my nemesis right here. This is what's called, I don't get enough rest, <laughs> truly. And I just kind of pack it in with my finger. Nothing special. You don't have to do anything special here at all. And kind of, you know, 
make sure that it's flattened out and look sit back and look at it and it does not have to be perfect it really doesn't we are going to apply other stuff on top of it so I wouldn't really worry much about that you see I use very little and if I wanted to come back this is the worst spot right there that little spot right there I've had my sinuses I got up this morning I did not feel good at all and I'm just now starting to feel better. I didn't eat breakfast. Mark offered to cook. <laughs> and I said, no, I don't think I can eat anything. Okay. Let's do this. Now, I'm going to use um, Maxine's Revenge and this. But we're going to put this on first. Now, this is a first for me when I did it the other night. I had no idea uh, what I was doing, actually. So, what's my dogs doing? Y'all hear that? <laughs> That's got to be sugar. All right. This is the color Pink Dahlia. Absolutely a gorgeous color. And it is by Anastasia. Now, you can use whatever you want. But this is probably the best color for it. It can't be really dark. And, you know, just make sure that it's a lighter pink. And it's a cream. It has to be a cream. So, <laughs> let's do it. I'm going to take my fingers. Yeah. And we're going to apply this beautiful pink. Where? Right here. We're going to pop it right underneath here. This was a... I was really shocked. Um, and I kept looking at it going, Oh, Lord, that's... That's really pink. <laughs> and that's what I'm thinking right now. That's really pink. Oh, my goodness. But this is supposed to give you just like this beautiful glow from within. And I thought, you know, I'm going to try it. And maybe my ladies will love it. And maybe they'll try it. And but do do prep your under eyes, okay? Uh, that's essential. You have to prep your under eyes no matter what you put there. Let me use this finger because this one's getting too much. <laughs> I'm all pink. I need something to wipe my hands off. Okay, does it, it looks like I've been crying, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but I haven't. Now I don't want to jump right in on top of it, so. I do like for it to adhere just a little bit and I think I jumped on it pretty quick the other night and then I thought about it and I thought you know I really just need to kind of let it settle I'm not talking about a whole long time just a minute or so but this is the we're going to use Maxine's Revenge French face this stuff is really creamy and good I love it it um, is great for mature eyes great for mature eyes and it comes in lots of colors I do like this one here. I don't. I can't read what color mine is, but I'll put it right here, the one I use. So, this is a nice product, and that's really all we're gonna do, pretty much. I've already done the rest of my face. Now, I really don't think when you do this, I, you you just need minimal kind of blush. You don't really need something because this is gonna be a peeky boo kind of thing. So, I'm gonna let it sit about a minute. And then we're gonna we're gonna decorate it up. We're gonna make it look like something different. You're gonna love it. We are going to use this brush. This is uh, Angie's concealer brush. It's an A506. Love it. I do. I absolutely love this brush. You know, I really wasn't fond of it at the beginning, but I had to figure out how to use it. And once I figured out how to use it, you know, it just makes perfect sense to actually use this. You can use your fingers if you want to. But honestly, I think this is a great tool to have to use. Now, let's take some Maxine. And look, I want you to see how flexible. See how flexible that doe foot is? Very nice. That's one thing I love about it. It's not too big. Sometimes you can get those doe foots and they're huge. And I have little eyes. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pop it right here like that and pop it over here <laughs> and i'm going to run well i could just drag it drag it like that that's what we'll do drag it up i really don't think i need to add any more i'm going to bring just a little bit more down through here because we are going to cover this up and it worked so pretty the other night and you really don't have to sit and wait on this to um, adhere or anything like that just go ahead and take your brush and then we're just going to start blending this out. And let's see what we get. <laughs> yeah, the other night I was like, oh, Lord, this ain't going to work. And if you need to start off minimal. And if you need to add, then add, girlfriend. But don't don't go in there heavy-handed with the color, okay? 
do a little at a time and then you come back and you look at it and go okay I do need a little more I was really shocked when I got done I really was it was such look at that oh my goodness I don't think I need any more over this side let me let me press 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 you're gonna hear sugar bark that's her favorite thing to do oh that does I love it I really do love it ah! now let's do this side they must see my neighbors across the street it's beautiful here today Mark and I are gonna take we're gonna go have lunch up on the lake and Lake Martin today yeah He's got to go up there and look at uh, a house and, you know, because he does, you know, he, that's what he does. That's what he specializes in. He does the house plans and all that good stuff. Also teaches it to youngsters, teenagers. And one of them the other day, we saw at Walmart and he's got himself a job already. Just out of high school. Isn't that awesome? So he's got a good career ahead of him. But we are going to go eat at uh, my favorite place, Kalaja. Oh, what do you think? Let me look up close and personal. I like it. The only thing I see is something off my mascara, which is right there, which is a just a fleck that can you know falls off. It's going to do that. Oh. That looks really good. Now, we're going to set it with powder. And I'm going to use, I wished I had my Laura Mercier, but I have not been able to go get it. I would prefer to use that. However, oh my goodness, we're going to use this one. This is it. You want something that's translucent and very light. And this is, this is a very light powder. And I'm not going to use a whole lot of it, but we are going to use this. This is a little powder puff, you know, that came with the It's. And yes, I know it's there. I'm going to wash all my stuff this weekend. I am. I need to get it washed. Now, you're not going to put that much, okay? You're just going to kind of dab this in, and this is what I do. There it is. Take your finger and just push it into the product. See, I can see some of it flying through the air. And when you do your fingers like this, it is. It's very, very soft. It's a very soft powder. Then you're going to take it, and we're not rolling it or anything like that. You're just going to dab it. Dab, 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 dab. We got to set it, you know. We got to set it. And it is such a pretty product. I like this. Let me do, let me see, I'm patting it on this side too. Pat it off. And you can see this flying through the air. It's that light. I like it. I like it, but I do love the Little Mercier. I do love that color. It's just so pretty, and for some reason, this just gives you a pretty peek and blue pink. It, it, I don't know. It's a more youthful kind of appearance. Do y'all think that? I think it. Uh, I'm gonna put some right down in here. Because I did have concealer through there. So that's really pretty. I like it. I really do. Now, I am going to use this same color for my blush. I have not done my blush yet. So let's take a little of this and we'll just put it right here and right here. You can use this on your lips as well if you want to. I might do that today. I haven't thought about what I was going to do for my lips, but you will need the Beauty Blender and just kind of blend it. Make sure you stay about corner here and up. And this is what I like to do now. Wait, it's a trick. Hang on. I'm going to come over here and do this side. And the one thing you want to do is look at it first and say, do I need any more? Well, and if you do, just dab it on here and just kind of place it right where you would need it right through there because I like high cheekbones I really don't have that but let me turn it now I'm going to turn it and we're just going to kind of place it again just a little bit more dabbing it helps you not put too much on and that's the reason I did that and then whatever's left on here you're going to take it and just come right across your nose just like that so now you've got this like pretty rosy look to your face. That is so darn pretty. 
I love it. I love this too. I really do. Now, I do like to let my under eyes set for a few minutes and then I come back and I look. And if you feel like you had too much powder, take a brush and kind of wipe it off. Now, and this do effect can be your friend. It will actually help absorb some of it and give you that moisture back. So keep that in mind. This is a great product. It's like $70, I think. But I've had this over two months now, and I still have, it's hard to see through this. I, I know, I think I still have about this much. I'm halfway through it. So, and I use it every day, twice a day. I really think you'll love this product. It's, it's wonderful for the mature skin. So I'm going to let this rest and we'll come back and we'll have a look at it and we'll finish it all up. All right. I didn't need to do anything. I didn't need to add the dewy finish, uh, the dew effect. Um, but however, if you want to, you can take this with you. That's what I do. And maybe later in the day, look at your under eyes. And if it needs a little bit, like you see some settling or anything like that from the powder, you can take just a drop of this tiny bit and just place it right through there. And girl, it will smooth it all out. Yeah. So that's why I like that product. Because sometimes in late in the afternoon, you know, I look at mine and I go, oh, girl, you need to get that fixed. So <laughs> I grab it out of my purse. Now I'm going to look, I'm going to use this end up there at the top. And if you see anything settling, just take this little brush. Be light-handed now. Don't go in there woofing it all off. Is that a word? Woofing it. <laughs> Maybe I created a new word. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that word either. So let me put the top back on this because I don't want that to get ruined. Now. Oh, that's pretty. Now, the last thing we're going to do is, you know, I love my, I have to put on my revolution. I do fix and blow. I love it. Now, we're going to do some lips. I'm going to finish my lip out. Right now, I have on um, my favorite, NYX Need Me, which you can get on Amazon. I always buy two at a time. That way, when I hit on the second one, I can go ahead and reorder because I, I love it that much. It's just one of my favorite colors. It's a really neutral color. I've got it on now already, but spray this, shake it up first and spray it, and then just come through here and kind of bounce it across. And you see how beautiful that is? And it sets everything you just did. And it's not going to go anywhere, okay? It's not. And then I'll also do the center of my face and back down. That way, we have a glow within. This is a great product. I mean, it really is. It's not very, it doesn't cost very much. And I really love using it. I'm going to put a little more up here. And guess what? It's a, it's setting everything. Yay! Setting. That's a southern word. Setting. <laughs> I know I'm bad. I'm, you know, I don't realize what I sound like. But if I say something you don't understand, just ask me. You know, because sometimes I say fixing to, and I know that's not a word, but it's just something us Southerners do. We just say that. Now I'm going to touch up <laughs> my knee and <beam. laughs> It's going to be a fun day. I get to go eat at my favorite restaurant. Yeah. Now, I haven't eaten anything today. I got up this morning and I felt like crap. I did. I'm like, what is, I had that worst headache. Ah. Oh. And I got up and I took something. And I'm not sure exactly what it is. And I got to thinking about, I ate Chick-fil-A salad yesterday. And they really piled on the stuff on it. So I was thinking, okay, I just had a little too much salad. That's all I could think. And my tummy said, it don't like it. <laughs> but I mean, it's just, uh, this felt yucky. But waking up with a headache is not a good thing. I don't like waking up with a headache. But you'll love this color. I love it. It's very neutral. Anybody can wear it. I am going to put on, let's see, let's use, let's use minted because minted, I'm wearing pink. So I'm just going to go ahead and use minted because it is a baby pink. Sometimes I need to wipe it off because I've mixed it with other colors. Like yesterday, I mixed this with a brown, a darker lipstick. And today, I'm not. 
I'm just going to do it like this. This is such a pretty color. And this is kind of sort of my signature look, lip look. It is. It's, it's one I gravitate to pretty much every day because it just goes with everything. I like it. It's pretty. Now you can put some gloss over this if you want to. Or you can take um, an eyeshadow and put over it. Typically that's what I do. Because I don't want to have to keep redoing it, you know. And so this Smashbox palette has this wonderful color right here. This one. I love Smashbox. And I do use this every day. Every day. <laughs> I do. This is my to-go-to palette. And so is this one. And I can mix these together and get, you know, a really pretty look. Don't just think you got to stay in a box. Do something do something that you're scared to do, and then you'll be proud of yourself when you do it. Honestly, you will. Oh, that's pretty. You could use this as a highlight, too. I mean, sure, you can. Now, I'm packing this in. Why? Because I don't want it to come off. Isn't that pretty? you got to shine, but it's not a gloss, so it's not going to be sticky or anything. You get out in this heat here in Alabama and you'll understand why you don't want to do that. <laughs> it is miserable. I am going to take a little brush here. This one is what? This is Angie's brush, A503. And we're going to add just a little bit of this as a highlight. Okay? I just want it. I want to put it right through here. Just kind of swipe it through. It's not a very, you know, it's not glittery or anything like that. It's just going to be a nice little sheen. And I'm going to bring it through here. And right through here. And yes, on our chin and right in here. See that? Oh, girl. I love this. I absolutely love this. So please tell me you're going to try it. If you do, come back and tell me what you think. And, um... If you wanted to, you could come back over this with some powder blush if you want to. If you want to add a little more. I don't think I need any more, but how you could do this. This is uh, a pressed powder, and this is called Sisterly, and it's a really beautiful color. See, that's really pretty. And you could definitely just grab a little brush. Where's my little brush I love? And here's one right here. This one. This is a BK Beauty brush also. I love BK Beauty brushes. I do. If you don't have any, you should really try it. I'll list everything, so no worries there. So I'm just going to pop this really lightly through here. Because this has a little shim to it also. Um, it doesn't look like it does, but it has like little gold flecks in it. And it's really pretty. And it's a unique product. And I do like to wear it. And I'm just going to kind of bounce it over through there. To give me this nice, glowy youthful look i do i think when you do your face like this it's very youthful um it's not overdone it's just glowing and that's what we need as we age i love it i think it's pretty what do y'all think i do that pink does play a little bit of peaky poo and it, it's just i would have never done this i don't know how come i didn't see it before oh there's one other thing i need to do let me grab um well i'm gonna grab this palette here i'm gonna grab smashbox and I need to just put just a little bit under here. And that will be it for me, girl. Good Lord, I'll be out the door. I like doing that out the door kind of thing. Now, if I was not walking you through this, I would already be done with it. Here's my little brush. I love another BK Beauty. And this one is 204. Perfect. It's a little smudger. And I'm going to take this color here, that color there, and we're going to run it under here and back up don't put a lot of it you just want a tiny tiny bit and you can see the difference that makes see it it's beautiful and if you want a tight line you can do that too but i love these palettes i love to mix palettes i like doing that but i do think you would love the bk beauty palette it um i did a whole entire look where i used on ladies night this past week i used that palette and i used it for blush i used it for all kinds of things highlight i used it for contour we had we had a good time it was the first time i did it so i wasn't sure 
you know. I like to do things. I don't like to practice. I just like to get up and do it. And that way you'll know <laughs> if I screw up, don't want to do what I do, right? Absolutely. Oh, this is pretty. Now, now I'm done, girlfriends. And the last little step, I, I do seal the deal with the spray in this. And it feels so good. So, I hope you try this. I really do. I think you will love it. Um, and if you have questions, put them down in the comments. And maybe um, I can help you with different kind of other makeup that you may have to kind of work with this. But I will put down everything that I've used, the brushes, everything. So that if you want to get some of the stuff I've used, then get it, girlfriend. Get it. We only live once. And I'll be 62, y'all. <sighs> I'll be 62 in September the 27th. That's my birthday. And I was seeing that last night. I'm getting old. But, you know, I don't feel I don't feel any different than I did five years ago. Honestly, I don't. Okay. Y'all tell me. You're going to do it. Put it in the comments. Come back and say, I did it and I loved it. Or I did it and I have questions. <laughs> and I will answer all your questions. All right. Please like and share and click that notification bell. I am here on Sundays only. And I love it when you come and hang out with me. I do. I love doing this. This is my highlight of the week when I get to do a video for you. Okay. So I will see y'all next Sunday.